Hello once again. Have you now completed all your work? If you have, can you please give yourself a big round of applause? Now we have one very last task, okay? And what I want you to think about is how you can share what you've created. So one way of sharing it would be to maybe read out the poem or the rap that you created to the people that you live with, okay? Another way is maybe you could share it with your friends and family for a video chat. Uh, another way that you could share it would be to actually contact your school and send it to your school and see if they would be willing to publish your rap or your song. Um, maybe you can even create a chat show where you get a member of your family or one of your friends to interview you and you can actually talk about what you created. And uh, you could speak about what you enjoy doing, as well as new skills that you might have learned in the process of creating your rap or your poem. Don't forget to keep everything, all that you've created, all the writing, anything. If you've drawn any pictures, then keep that as well. Take photos or take videos. And I hope you really enjoy this. Speak to you guys soon. Bye bye. So having made your three-dimensional mask out of card, you can get other people to get involved by getting them to decorate a drawn mask. And for that I'm using designs from Nigeria, which have got special meanings. And you can see, think ahead, welcome, I shall meet you again, hope, good fortune and so forth. You will need some basic materials, either a pencil and some brushes and black paint or a felt tip or anything else that you have in the house. So we start by drawing a basic mask. And now I'm going to split it into segments so I can use my pattern. And now I'm going to paint it very, very simply using black acrylic paint. But as I said, you can use any art materials you have. I'm going to use also a little bit of white acrylic to just bring out some of the features of the mask. But you don't have to do this. In fact, you can really pretty much do anything to the design, but remember, try to make a nice job of it.
Hello! Welcome back museum makers to the museum of me. Um, so today we're just going to quickly think about how we might present our museum. I'm going to invite you to think about a few things like who is doing the guided tour? Maybe you want to play a character who might tour and be the expert of your museum story. Maybe you might want to do a whole museum launch and have a grand opening. This could be with special food that your family maybe makes that you want to serve at your launch event to your family. Nibbles or special drinks. Have a think about what music you might want to play or what atmosphere you'd like your museum to have at the launch event. Maybe you want to make special tickets to send out to people. Now, if you're going to do it to your family in the house that live with you, then you can just give them that ticket. But if you want to invite people to maybe come on a museum tour with you online through uh, Zoom or Skype or um, uh, WhatsApp call, if you want to do a video call, then maybe you want to send them their tickets a few days before so they get their museum ticket and that gives them the details and then they come and join you online. You might want to make a poster. It's just a poster from one of our shows. You might want to make a poster to put up um, outside your museum. But really think about if you ran a museum and this was a new um, catalogue that was going to happen, a new exhibition, what would you do to make that launch really special? Have a think. And just one final thing to remember, Record everything, you're, all your brilliant work you're doing and if you have a, also a think about if you had to take your museum with you, how could you pack it up and take it with you if you had to move house? Enjoy, again I'm going to say it once more, let your creativity run wild and just have fun telling your story. Take care. <laughs>